Welcome, welcome and welcome back to the Power Bay Pro Tips by Tejas. So in the today's video, we can see how to make use of the toggle buttons in a Power Bay report. Say for example, if we have two different types of visuals in a Power Bay report, so how to toggle between them dynamically. So that's what we will be dealing with yeah. in the today's session. So let us go ahead and uh, straight away dive into a Power Bay desktop. So I have my report ready. So basically, in the data set, we basically have the supermarket data. So we have the order date, we have the ship date, the shipping mode, and various customer details and various segment details, the regional details, the country details, the postal code, sales data, profit data, shipping cost, order priority, quantity, and so on. So this is what we have in the data set. So let us go ahead to the report view and see what we have got. So what I have done is I have created two tabs. So one is one tab is representing the table. Table that is country-wise sales, profits, and discounts. And the three main KPIs are profits, quantity, and discounts. I have also taken country slicer, category slicer. Product slicer and segment slicer. This thing I have taken in table tab. Under the visual tab, I have taken the, clus the clustered column chart. Over here, I have the same data, but I have represented in a different visual. That is the clustered bar chart. So, say if I want to toggle between these two visuals dynamically just by using a single button. So, let us. Straight away dive into the magic and the secret of bookmarks. So in order to do that, I go to view and I select bookmarks. Leave it open. Go ahead and delete it off and create it again. So let us add a bookmark and name the bookmarks by its tab name. So let me create a bookmark under the name tables. Straight away, let us go ahead and update it over there as tables. Similarly, let us go to the visual tab and create another bookmark as visuals. Click on these three dots and click on update now let us go ahead and take the customize button in order to do that let us go to insert let us take the button let us take image I have the table button over here so let us go ahead and take that make sure that we are formatting it in order to place it over here so let us go to style Fit so that it occupies the entire space. Let us make it a bit tidy. Now, let us take a text box and just represent this as text. Let me select and let me make it a bit larger. That blue. Tables. Let's make it more larger. Even more larger would be even better. So let me go ahead. And let us place over here. So let us go ahead and do the same for the visual tab as well. So for the visual tab, make sure that the toggle button has to be device or sortist. That is, the white portion should be located over here. Let us go ahead and take another button. See, this will be our visuals button. 
just go ahead and format that go to style change the scaling to fit that will do azure so let us go and take it over here and make sure that the alignment is proper let us go ahead and copy this text box select this text box home copy then go to visual tab then go ahead and paste it and let us rename this table as visuals okay so half of our job is done now what we shall do is we shall click on this button now this is our visual tab and visuals bookmark right so let us click on this button and enable the action to table so when i click on this i need to go to table so when i click on the tables i need to come to visuals so that's the objective behind over here let us click on this and select the action to bookmark and let us direct this to tables having done that i need to navigate the visuals bookmark and make sure that i update the bookmark this is an important step okay similarly let us go to the tables and let us select this button and enable the bookmark that is action on let us select bookmark and let us direct this table bookmark to visuals clear now make sure that you are updating the tables now let us go ahead and verify so if i click on this we come to visuals with a bar chart similarly if i click on this we navigate to tables got it guys so our job is done so our intention is to go to the visual tab so click on this button we go to the visual tab similarly click on this button we go to the tables tab or else the table visual so boom that's it that's it guys so this very simple and very straight forward so practice this guys okay so happy analyzing and take care guys see you for today and make sure that you subscribe so that you do not miss me in the future videos take care guys